what's up everyone welcome back to the video in today's video we're going to be talking about the three exercises that i recommend my clients do when they want to grow and shape their glutes so the first exercise is the romanian deadlift here we want to walk up to the bar of course and then once you get there take a step across the bar to widen your stance ideally you want your feet to be aligned with the rougher portion of the bar in a shoulder width stance one thing that I always tell people to remember is to slightly bend their knees. What this will do is it will remove any tension away from your joints and place them on your muscle when lifting the weights. And this is ideally what we want for hypertrophic purposes. From there, you want to take a roughly shoulder width grip just outside of your thighs and pick up the bar and stand in an upright position with your shoulders back and your chest out looking forward. I find it easier to stay upright when I'm looking forward at an object using my eyes. I don't know why I just said using my eyes because what else would you use to look forward? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, from there, you want to initiate the negative motion of the movement, but before initiating, brace your core. Okay, so brace your core by breathing in and squeezing your abs. Again, you just remember to have your shoulders back and your chest out. And then when going down on the negative motion of the movement, think about hinging your hips back rather than lowering the bar. This will ensure that your back remains flat rather than curving your spine. A common mistake that I usually see is when lowering the bar, most of my clients, what they do is when they first start with me, they have their shoulders hunched over and then this in turn will curve their neck and curves their spine. Not only is this really bad when it comes to just performing a movement, it will remove all the tension away from your glutes and your hamstrings, but it could also lead to injury. Right? So lowering any load with a curved spine is it's just going to put more tension on your lower back and you know eventually that will catch up to you and you will get hurt so always always have your back fixed your shoulders back make sure that your back is flat right so if you do not have a barbell there are other alternatives to this exercise so the first one is the dumbbell romanian deadlift so for this one you just use dumbbells right pretty simple it's the same cues nothing changes if you don't have a pair of dumbbells but you have one dumbbell then you can use the single leg Romanian deadlift just using one dumbbell. The second exercise is the barbell hip thrust. If you've never done this exercise before, then I recommend learning how to execute it without using any form of resistance. The first thing that you want to do is you want to bring your tibia or your lower leg as close to your butt as possible. Once you are comfortably seated, lift yourself up on the bench using your elbows. At this point, your tibia and your femur should form a 90 degree angle, more or less. Once you've mastered this technique, then you can start adding some weight. So your first set should always be your warm up set, so you shouldn't jump onto a straight set. The first thing that you want to do here is find the ideal placement to execute the exercise efficiently. So if you find that the weight is wiggling around and the barbell is moving around or you find that your feet are not stable, you shouldn't be discouraged. Just take your time and find the right position for yourself. When using the pad, make sure that it is safely and comfortably placed on your pelvis. You don't want it on your stomach. Before thrusting the weight up, flex and squeeze your bum as hard as possible. Once at the top, squeeze even harder for a better muscle contraction. One thing that you don't want to do when performing this exercise is use momentum as leverage. So I see this quite often where people use momentum to lift the weight up and bring it down. The problem there is number one, you're not getting full muscle contraction. And number two, this is just a faster way to getting lower back pain or even worse, injuring yourself. Once at the top and you're squeezing your bum, take your time and lower the weight. Try and have an eccentric of two seconds, not, not faster than two seconds. So two seconds should be enough. The third exercise I would recommend is the single leg Romanian deadlift. This is a unilateral movement. Unilateral simply means training one side of the body at a time. 
So this is a great movement to isolate again your glutes and your hamstrings but instead of doing both legs we're just doing one so as you can see my lady friend here has total control of the weight total control of the movement the one thing i should point out which i did earlier is her back if you look at her back it is flat she is in control so always always be careful when it comes to bending down or hinging back instead of curving your spine think about hinging back and keeping your back as flat as possible this will prevent injury but most importantly it will put tension on the targeted muscle which will incur growth and efficient training i don't know why i said incur <laughs> but whatever <laughs>